are listening to Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Yermet, a Salesian of Don Bosco. Your word, Lord, is a lamp for my steps. Stay tuned. This is my daily bread. This is my daily bread. It is Thursday, the 11th of January, 2024, first week in ordinary time and participating in the proclamation of the word of God for today are the following daily bread members. Gloria Akite from Namas, Saudi Arabia, takes for us the first reading. Bridget Mulenga Mumba from Lusaka, Zambia, takes for us the responsorial psalm. And proclaiming the gospel is Father Dinas Baguma from Brofontein, South Africa. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Israel was defeated and the ark of God was captured. First reading. A reading from the first book of Samuel. First Samuel chapter 4 verse 1 to 11. It happened that in those days, Israel went out to battle against the Philistine. They encamped at Ebenezer, and the Philistine encamped at Apek. The Philistines drew up in line against Israel. And when the battle spread, Israel was defeated by the Philistines, who slew about 4,000 men on the field of the battle. And when the troops came to the camp, the elders of Israel said, Why has the Lord put us to road today before the Philistines? Let us bring the ark of the covenant of the Lord here, from Shiloh, that he may come among us and save us from the power of our enemies. So the people sent to Shiloh and brought from there the ark of the covenant of the Lord of hosts, who is enthroned on the cherubim. And the two sons of Eli, Opni and Phinehas were there with the Ark of the Covenant of God. When the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord came into the camp, all Israel gave a mighty shout, so that the ass resounded. And when the Philistines heard the noise of the shouting, they said, What does this great shouting in the camp of the Hebrews mean? And when they learned that the Ark of the Lord had come to the camp, the Philistines were afraid, for they said, A God has come into the camp. And they said, War to us, for nothing like this has happened before. War to us, who can deliver us from the power of these mighty gods? These are the gods who strike the Egyptians with every sort of plague in the wilderness. Take courage and acquit yourself like men, all Philistines lest you become slaves to the Hebrews as they, have, as they have been to you. Acquit yourself like men and fight. So the Philistines fought and Israel was defeated and they fled, every man to his home. And there was a very great slaughter, for there fell of Israel 30,000 foot soldiers. And the ark of God was captured, and the two sons of Eli, Opni and Phinehas were slain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Psalm 44, verse 10, 11, 14, 20, 21, 25. Response is taken from Psalm 44, verse 27b. And the response is, Redeem us, O Lord, with your merciful love. Redeem us, O Lord, with your merciful love. Yet now you have rejected us. 
disgraced us. You no longer go forth with our armies. You make us retreat from the foe. Those who hate us plunder us at will. Redeem us, O Lord, with your merciful love. You make us set out of our neighbors, the mockery and scorn of those around us. Among the nations, you make us a byword. Among the peoples, they shake their heads. Redeem us, O Lord, with your merciful love. Awake, O Lord, why do you sleep? Arise, do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our oppression and misery? Redeem us, O Lord, with your merciful love. Gospel acclamation is taken from Matthew chapter 4, verse 23. Alleluia. Jesus was preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every infirmity among the people. Alleluia! 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Mark chapter 1, verse 40 to 45. At that time, a leper came to Jesus begging him and kneeling said to him, If you will, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him and he was made clean. And he sternly charged him and sent him away at once and said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded for a proof to the people. But he went out and began to talk free about it, and spread the news, so that Jesus could no longer openly enter a town, but was out in the country. And people came to him from every quarter. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have lessons drawn from the first reading of today. Lessons very concrete in our lives. The Israelites went to war with the Philistines. They were defeated. And you know where they were encamped? They were encamped at Ebenezer, the stone of help. They were encamped at a place where they felt there was a stone of help, the rock of help that is God himself. Whereas the Philistines were encamped at Apec. Apec means strength. Not the strength of God, just strength. They used their human strength. These people relied on the strength of God. And they were defeated. 
The next thing we are hearing is that they took the Ark of the Covenant, which even threatened the Philistines. The Philistines still relied on their own strength, and they ended up defeating the Israelites. Here is a lesson we draw from this. You know, you may say, I'm not going to do anything in my life. I'm going to rely on God and God is going to help me. I don't need to study. I don't need even to look for a husband. No, God will provide that husband. He's the rock of my strength. And you sit in your house waiting for God to do that for you while you just encourage laziness in your life. You are going to be defeated by the Philistines. There are so many Philistines who are working very hard. But I'm telling you this. If you combine your strength with the strength of God, something big is going to happen in your life. I'm telling you. Work hard and then leave the rest to God. God is going to work on something. You know, this is exactly what happens in our lives. Many of our Christians have been made lazy by the doctrine they subscribe to. I know there are people who even say they can't even give blood to somebody when sick because the Bible says this and that and that and they see a child dying and they are praying and the child is anemic, the child needs blood and the child dies. They start asking the question, God, what is happening? Where are you? Come on, don't make a mockery of our God. Our God would want to do a lot for us, but we don't do something ourselves. He has given us hands. They are not just to be raised in prayer. No, they are for hard work. He has given us legs to walk and go and present our own CV in order to get a job. Don't just sit in your room and pray saying that God is going to give me a job. No. He will give you a job if you take a step to do something in your life. He will do so. Look at this man in the gospel passage of today. He had to go out of himself. You know, leprosy was something that made somebody be ostracized in the community. And this man was ostracized. But he had to walk. Go to the direction of Christ. Go to where Christ was knelt down and he said, if you will, you can make me clean. And Jesus showed his compassion. He was sorry. He stretched his hand and touched this leper. He touched the dirty. Why? Because the dirty did not just sit in his room to wait for healing. No, he went out there to seek healing against the misunderstanding of people. Even when he knew that they would ridicule him, he still went out and he was healed. Are you ready to be healed? Are you looking for a husband? You won't find your husband just on the knees. You need to be on the knees in prayer, but you need to go out there. Let them see you. Come on, let them see you as a decent woman. Don't expose your nakedness in front of social media to think that that's how people are going to get attracted to you. No, they want to see a decent woman. They want to see your post portraying maturity. They want to see you say something that gives a sense of direction to others. And when they see you there... They will say, that is the wife material. That is the husband material. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Thursday to you. Thanks be to God. This is my daily bread. Your very word. Spoken to me. And I.
Tears in the eye.